using it or you want to romance your spouse. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy. Um, this is my iMac. Yay! I've wanted an iMac so badly since 2021, and I've had it on my vision board that I enjoyed re the resources to purchase one. But I, I, you know, for whatever reason, was just I was just unable to buy one. 2021, 2022, and now 2023. It's here, let's unbox it. Hello, welcome <laughs> to my office tour, yay! <laughs> you guys, I am super excited to be making this video. You cannot even imagine, like, this video has been a long time coming, okay? As far as I have been a content creator, which is a long time, I have always worked out of my bedroom when I was single and our bedroom when we got married. And it's a lot, you know, because in our bedroom, you see tripods and you see my lights. It was just naturally because of the space we were working with. So having my own space, having my own office is something I have desired and prayed for for a very, very long time. So when uh, it so happened that we're going to move to the house and everything and we started building, getting my own office was something that I was very particular about. I was praying for, I was excited for, and finally, <laughs> It has happened. I mean, we've been here for five months, over five months now, and I've been working on the space a little bit here and there, here and there. It has finally come together, I think. <laughs> and I am so excited to share it with you. A lot of the items in this room I got from um, Amazon, so they'll be linked down in the description box in case you're interested in any of them. Let's go ahead and get started. E -e <laughs> Okay, so to get started, we have these two walls over here and on them, I placed this artwork that says Bon Appetit, but first coffee. I got them years ago. I don't even remember where I got them. I think I probably got them from Ikea, probably like three years ago. And it's been a while. 
that I got them. Oh, I just remembered. So remember how I said that I've never had my own office and all of that. Well, that's kind of like partially true. Uh, we did move to a bigger space about three years ago, right? Two years? I don't remember. A long time. <laughs> And initially I had my own, or I was supposed to have my own office in that bigger space, but in that apartment, but my husband got a job that required him to work from home. So I had to vamoose, <laughs> I had to vacate the space for him to use. And then I started working out of our bedroom whilst he needed, you know, had the office to himself and all of that. So again, that's, that's, I just, it just came to my memory now and I wanted to clarify that. Okay. So back to the painting. So I believe I got this painting from Ikea years ago. I don't remember exactly when, I mean, I didn't throw them out when we were moving. I brought them with me because I just figured one way or another they will fit in and they just fit in right here on these two walls. So yeah let's go let's go this way let's you know go clockwise no this is not clockwise well this is anti-clockwise let's go anti-clockwise so coming this way we have a door and then right next to it i have a lot of things going on here I, i'm so excited to talk to you about this part well, i'm excited to talk to you about the entire room let's start from the ground up Okay, so we have the chair, this beautiful, gorgeous chair that I got from Amazon. When I initially saw the pictures on Amazon, I was like, oh wow, that is attractive. It's not overwhelmingly attractive. However, when you look at it, you know, I like the colors. It gives like, I like the pattern to it. It makes it look like, like an African fabric. African pattern, even though that's not what it is. So that was what attracted me to it. It was so easy to put together. I put everything together myself. The Pampas grass I've had for years as well. I got the Pampas grass off of Etsy and then I got the vase off of um, Amazon, I believe. Yes, I got the vase off of Amazon, but the grass off of Etsy and I've had them for years. I mean, they're real, by the way. It has shed all the shed that it wants to shed. <laughs> um, although it does still shed a bit every now and then, but not like the first time when I just got them. Uh, what else? Talks about the chair, the rug I got from Amazon. I've had this rug for four years. I've had, I've had it since. I got it, I remember, in 2020. So it is over, what, well, about three years now, yeah. And then right on top of the chair, we have my certificate. <laughs> I'm so excited to share my certificates with you because this is the first time that I'll be displaying them, right? And some of you, you know, some, I know you sometimes forget, your girl is a lawyer, okay? I passed the bar, the state of Georgia, you see, you see? <laughs> so I know you guys forget sometimes, but yes, I went to law school, graduated, passed the bar. So the first one, the state of Georgia one, was when I passed the bar back in 2013, I believe I got my certificate. And then the big one in the middle was from uh, the school that I went to my graduation certificate. And then the third one is my class picture. I think that year I was one of three black people in my class. No, I could be wrong, but I believe in my graduating sets, there were just like five of us that were black and that was out of like a hundred and something people, right? Why does the picture look like that at the bottom? I did not keep it well. And from constantly moving from the US, Nigeria back to the US and all of that, water poured on a bit of it and it got damaged but you know my face is number one <laughs> because i didn't get a device so <laughs> my face is all the way up there as number one so um yeah can you spot me did you spot me before i told you <laughs> i'm super super excited to finally be dis displaying them and to just you know constantly remind myself that even though i might not be practicing right now you know I, I mean, I've, I've done some cool stuff. <laughs> so this is a part that I consider to be a very fun part. It's a, okay, let's start with the ladder that you're looking at. I got this ladder off of Amazon as well. And an interesting thing about it was that it came like this. So I didn't have to install anything. I just opened it up and boom, that was it. However, it is very, very fragile. Like it is very, very light. So <laughs> it's not something that will take like torture or anything like that. 
Um, but again, this is what I intend to use it for. So I'm not too worried about, you know, the weight and, you know, the fact that it's fragile and all of that. So on here, I decided to display some of my very, very cool items that I just love. Starting with this picture from YouTube. I took this picture, like this was back in Lagos. This was years ago with YouTube at a YouTube, YouTube event. And I just love it so much. I love the smile on my face. I was really happy in that picture. <laughs> Genuinely happy. So yeah, so I decided to keep it. And of course, my BTS album, this is my book. This is a journal that I sometimes journal in. And yeah, what I've collected so far. As I collect more items, I'll probably put them on this show. But I'm really happy that I can finally display my, you know, BTS albums and all of that because they had been, I've been preserving them, you know, I'd be, I've been keeping them in like a box and everything. But now I, you know, I can just see them, which is why I collected them in the first place. <laughs> So right next to that, I have this full length mirror. This is the only full length mirror in the entire house for now, but I decided to keep it here because this is also my dressing, dressing room. This room is my studio, my office, my filming room. So this is where I get dressed. So it needed to be here. I got it off of Amazon as well, about two years ago now, and still going strong. I have my lights right on top of it because sometimes like now it's starting to get dark very early if i have to do like a, a late shoot typically i shoot with daylight as you will see shortly but if it's getting dark like now then i have my lights on and so i have these two soft boxes that i use so i placed one right behind the mirror so that the mirror is like hiding it and it's just is well positioned <music> it's a bit overexposed behind me right now and you can't see uh, because you're looking at me but you know I'll put some overlay shots of what this window looks like typically right in front of the window where the tripod is is where I place my camera and my tripod when I'm shooting because I shoot during the day and I use the natural daylight with the soft boxes off completely um, it's always so bright another reason why I love this room it's always so bright when I shoot during the day. I mean, and now it's starting to get dark. I know it looks bright right now, because, but that's, that's the camera. The camera is deceptive. It's dark. <laughs> so, and I have my lights on, so that's why you can still see me. So um, typically this is how I shoot. Where the camera is right now is where I sit. And what you're looking at now is what I look at when I'm sitting to shoot my sit down videos. Um, oh, did I mention the fan? That fan was from a brand that I worked with. The curtains are from Ikea. I used the rod holder that I got from Amazon and it worked perfectly. Like it just, I just stuck it to the wall. Oh, sorry about that. Oof, that's my phone. <laughs> I just stuck it to the wall and boom, that was it. So I was really happy about that for the world holder. So I didn't have to like do any drilling. I did not drill anything in this room, by the way. I used majorly command strips. That's what I used. I didn't drill the wall because I don't like to do it. <laughs> so right next to the window, we have this cabinet right here. I know on the first look, it looks like, oh, that's such a cool cabinet, you know, three layers and then it has a stand. No, at least that's what I think it looks like when you like just pass over it. But it's actually a stackable cabinets that I got from Amazon, the, what it's sitting on, that stand did not come with it. That stand belongs to my vanity set that you're going to see very shortly. <laughs> um, I hope it doesn't look strange. It doesn't look like I'm sitting. I'm on my knees, by the way, but I hope, I hope that doesn't look strange on camera. Um, okay, let me pull the chair and sit down. So yeah, I got the cabinets off of Amazon and it was because I didn't want to buy a wooden cabinet. One, they were quite expensive. Two, they would have occupied like much more space. And again, I wanted to keep the room very light, very airy, very wide because I use it for multiple things. You know, I didn't want to overwhelm the room. So I decided to go with the stackable ones. It was just a coincidence that it perfectly, perfectly fit on top of that stool. 
that still came with the vanity set that is right here i'm going to show you shortly but i just tried it on it if it perfectly it stands perfectly it doesn't trip it doesn't shake it just it just works perfectly and i placed it right in front of the light to cover up the tripod or the light stand just to you know preserve the aesthetics <laughs> of the room and on top of the cabinets i have my alexa from amazon right in the cabinets i have like my camera equipment batteries mics i have one layer that's empty i have my tripod in there the third cabinet i use for my flat iron and my hairbrush like my wipes and all of that because it's right next to my vanity set you know i've been talking about it so let's just go over there <laughs> So this is the vanity set I was talking about. As you can see, underneath is completely empty right now. That's because that too was supposed to be under there. But because sometimes I'm there for longer trying to do my makeup and hair, whatever, I like to rest my back. So I decided to put this plastic chair because this one has like a... I can just rest my back, right? So I put this on under there. That's what I sit on when I... Do my makeup and whatnot and the stool is over there working perfectly am i a genius or what <laughs> the vanity set i've also had for about two years now i worked with a brand on it i don't even remember their name now but it's really good like i said i've had it for years i think it costs about 500 dollars um ish was it up to 500 i don't remember <laughs> but i love that i worked with the brand i loved working with them and you know i'm still viva it's called viva something i'm still enjoying using it shout out to them it still looks rather overexposed at the back but please just bear with me okay so that's a painting i've also had that painting for about two years i think i got it as a birthday gift someone gave it to me um as a birthday gift like two years ago also and was it was it last year yeah it was two years ago and it's a set the other one i placed in Sotin's office so i have this one i love it i decided to place it on this other wall because it was completely empty and i wanted it to have a little bit of something okay and this ladies and gentlemen is where the magic happens yeah i was so excited this workspace has increased my productivity by a thousand percent i'm not even kidding you oh my gosh oh my gosh i love it so much naturally i went with red for the imac because i like red i like red and white those are my favorite colors and then probably neutral and all of that i'm sure you can tell from the theme of the office already okay so let's start from the wall i have this uh what do they call it dry erase board because you know i want to be able to write on the on it to you know take notes the card i have on it right now is an invitation card to an event that's coming up soon so i can just use the ma the magnet came with it so i'm just using the magnet to hold it um, once I'm done with the shoot, then I can, you know, write on the board and all of that. And the marker, the dry erase marker also says on it. So it's just for taking down like quick notes, whatever needs to be remembered and all of that. This chair I also got from Amazon. It's just, I read through so many reviews before I decided on this one. And one of the reasons I decided to go with this one was because of the headrest. Because uh, sometimes it's just like, what is it? <laughs> Um, so it has this headrest, it's very comfortable and the armrests fold up as well so you can pull them up you know if you, if you want to like push it under the table or you just don't feel like using it or you want to romance your spouse. <laughs> I don't know why that goes to my head. That's not what I've been doing. Yeah, yeah. Okay so but anyway it's very comfortable. I love it. I've enjoyed using it so far. Did I mention that I got it from Amazon already? Yes I got it from Amazon okay the table we got from wayfair i think now this table we've also had it for about two years i don't even remember where we got it from it was probably wayfair though um and it was very solid i intended to get like a proper working desk but i did not have anywhere else to place this table and i was like i don't want clutter i don't want the table just sitting around or doing anything so i decided to hold off on getting like a work desk and just 
work with this one but what i did get was to get this uh desktop mats that just completely covers the entire table and i got it because of my mouse usage you know i didn't want to get like a mouse pad you know i wanted to be able to use the mouse anywhere on the desk also because it covered the table completely yes i measured the table before i bought it and I also got it on Amazon as well. I got this phone stand to use for whenever I'm working. You know, I don't want to have to do like this on my phone. With the phone stand, I can just, sorry. With the phone stand, I can just place my phone like this and just work on it, you know, like this. And I'm good to go. So I got the phone stand. Again, I didn't get a lot of things on my desk because I don't like clutter. I have these two books here because one, I like to take notes. I'm sure some of you might have seen this notes a lot, this book a lot on my channel. And I'm reading, this is the book I'm currently reading and I like having easy access to it. This holder I got from Amazon as well. I liked it because it rotates. Okay, so when you turn it, it rotates like this. And in there, I have my markers, I have my pen, chewing gum, wipe for wiping like my phone or computer screen and all of my glasses, all of that. I have hand sanitizer and I have chapstick as well. So if I want anything, I just roll it and pick what I need and good to go. This I got for like a dollar or two dollars off of Amazon. I wanted a little bit of like a little bit of green in the room so i went with this one it's artificial i got one for my husband as well you already saw when i did the unboxing of the imac i'm loving it i also have this speaker so sometimes most times when i'm editing especially you know now that i have my mac my imac i don't use my headphones i just use my speaker or i use the speaker that came with the computer or i use this one so this i keep directly under my macbook and the MacBook is sitting on the stand that I got from Amazon. So this is what, so this is what the stand looks like. And it's a laptop stand for, you know, desktop or, you know, maybe kitchen or whatever, but I place it on my desk because sometimes I'm working from my macbook at the same time i'm referencing the imac or whatever the case is so i have easy access to it well it wasn't sitting yeah it was looking wonky before i think it looks better now but yeah this is what the entire room looks like i cannot tell you enough how much i enjoyed putting this room together and how much i enjoy working in this room god is so good i'm so excited for the room i'm so excited that you know i'm able to share it with you <laughs> now it's for the room to be making the money to pay for the room <laughs> which I trust God that it will. But tell me, what's your favorite part of this room or what's your favorite item in this room? For me, it's everything. Cause I feel like a little bit of everything came together to make it very beautiful. I love that I still have space. I don't like clutter. I'm sorry, I'm looking, oh, I saw something, okay. I love most importantly that I still have a lot of space to work with. I don't like clutter. I don't like overload. I like that I, I have this space. To myself <laughs> so back to what i was saying what's your favorite item in this room what's your favorite section 
of this room? I want to know. Tell me in the comment section. If you have any questions about anything, please ask in the comment section and I'll be glad to answer you. If you're not subscribed yet to the channel, please do so. Thumbs up the video as well if you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. I love you so much. I can't wait to see you again very, 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 very soon. I pray God blesses you, your homes, your marriages, your relationships. Most importantly, I pray God blesses you. Remain in God and God bless you. Mwah. Bye. <laughs> Let's go back to work. E, e, e.